everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, you probably noticed that I'm wearing exactly the same thing that I wore in my birth and delivery story. I don't, like I said, get much of a chance to um, film these videos without somebody being unhappy um, or something else going on with the house. So I wanted to just get straight in and make this video while I got the chance. Um, so this is just a little bit of an update on her and how she's been going. So. Um, after delivery, I breastfed her for um, maybe three or four days, but um, unfortunately she latched really, really well, which was great, and she was feeding really well, but um, I'm not against breastfeeding by any means. I just feel like after nine months of not feeling like yourself, and then afterwards you have these horrible heavy boobs and sore nipples and things like that, I just really look forward to feeling more like myself and when I don't feel like myself and I'm in pain or I feel like you know a cow <laughs> or a little milk machine um, it probably wouldn't add um, it would probably add to my possibility of getting postnatal depression which I've never had but I feel like I could be susceptible to it if I wasn't feeling great in myself so I chose to um, basically just stop straight away and obviously by then I was pretty much at peak milk supply which wasn't comfortable so I used cabbage leaves um, I had the um, Therapearl things that go in the freezer from Lanolish and um, I used those and I pretty much just pumped every three or four hours um, over a week and just reduced my pumping amount each time so it started off at about 40 mils each side, then it went to 30, um, then 10, and then 5 just to take the edge off. Um, but the first three days were the most uncomfortable, and then I just kind of leaked bits here and there, but it wasn't too uncomfortable. Um, just to add in there as well, I think one of the things I find the hardest is obviously you're sleep deprived, getting up and feeding all the time. Um, but I then also have trouble sleeping in between that because my boobs were so sore. So I try to be as rested as I can. Um, especially with the fact that I had a 15 month old as well at the same time as she was born. So um, basically from there, um, she was doing really well. We started bottle feeding her. Um, she was a bit of a spitty up baby, which why it wasn't. Um, at the end of a bottle, she would probably lose 20 mils, just randomly vomit. Um, and we did a little bit of, thank you for that, reading into that um, and it looked like some of the the gas that they had if there was milk sitting on top of it because their throat was so small sometimes when they burp the milk that was on top just comes out too um, but that sort of got better each week really um, to the point where at about six weeks she stopped vomiting and she has had the occasional one here and there but nothing major so um, I pretty much had her sleeping on the sleepy head. I'll put a little picture there of the sleepy head. Um, it's a portable little cot, which is great. And I had her sleeping on the bed with me and Aaron was in the spare room for a couple of weeks just while we were getting up and feeding and that sort of thing. And he was always happy to get up and feed her or help me with her if um, she was painful, but she wasn't even the first night we came home I had to wake her up at like 1am to have a feed because it had been about five hours and I thought I should probably feed this newborn baby um, so pretty much since then she we've all been going to bed at around eight or nine she was having her last feed then and around three o'clock she'd wake for a feed and we probably did that for the first four weeks um, maybe five oh, probably five or six actually sorry five or six weeks she woke up around three or four for a feed and then she'd go back to sleep until about six or seven so that was really really good I was not complaining getting up once through the night with a newborn um, and probably for the last two or three weeks we've been definitely focusing on a routine so she's been having a bath at the same time every night with her brother and then she has a bottle and then she pretty much has a snooze and then I top her up with another bottle at about 8.30 and she sleeps all the way until 5 now. So she's doing really, really well. Um, that's it really with her. Everything is normal. Her tongue, her eyes, her nose. She's had a hearing test which is all fine. Um, and she's just a smiley, happy little bubba most of the time. I mean, she doesn't look very happy right now but she's looking around. 
but um, whenever she's lying down and you just hover over her, she just smiles at you. Can you smile, my baby? Can you smile? You're not going to smile. Oh, no. Mummy sounds silly, doesn't she, talking your baby voices? <laughs> but she's such a sweet, happy baby. Um, and Wyatt was an easy baby, and she's ten times easier, so... We're really lucky, which is great. And yeah, that's her update for now. So ten and a half weeks and little Astrid. Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> yeah. No? Okay. Well, this is what she's wearing as well. This is just a little Bonds onesie. Um, and it's really hot here, so that's why she's wearing this. Um, so thank you very much for watching and sorry for prattling on yet again. <laughs> um, catch you later.